Who doesn't love cute jewelry, especially when it's personalized? Today I'm going to show you how we put our X-Tool M1 to use to make these beautiful customized necklaces for my sister and my nieces uh, to give as gifts. They are really sweet and really the sky's the limit with these pieces. For this project, we're going to use X-Tool's stainless steel heart and bar necklaces. So in this box comes six separate necklaces, two rose gold, two yellow gold, and two silver. And each necklace has three separate pendants on it. So each one has a little heart and then two rectangular bars. Now this is a really great value. I think if you're looking for surfaces and materials to use uh, over at xtool.com, and I'll be sure to link that below. But this is a great option if you're looking to make a bunch of necklaces like I did for all of my nieces. If you are looking to make something to sell for like your business or at a craft fair, you could definitely sell these at a profit, especially if you have customization options available. Now these necklaces do come all pre-assembled together, but because we want to make sure that the surface that we're engraving is level, you'll have to disassemble the jump ring from the actual pendant upon which you plan to engrave. Otherwise, you'll need to somehow wedge something or position something underneath it so that it will sit level on your engraving surface. Now I almost missed this, but each of the little pendant pieces come wrapped in a protective plastic film. So you want to get in there and carefully remove that before engraving. Now, once that's done, I'm ready to load them into my X-Tool M1 and I'm placing all three pieces from one necklace right onto that honeycomb panel inside the compartment. Now, when I close the lid to the machine, I'll get a preview image of the pieces on the honeycomb panel inside my X-Tool. And it's a little bit hard to see with the dark background of the honeycomb panel and the little pendants because they are so small, but you basically want to zoom in. I'm using the app on my iPhone for this, and we're going to make sure to find our designs that we want to place on there. For the one side of the heart, I added on this rose shape and you can see under the parameter settings, we selected score and then under the materials, there's the option to select the jewelry set so that the settings are already built right into the software. As I mentioned earlier, each necklace comes with three pendants and then that means six surfaces for engraving. So on one side of the heart pendant, I put the shape of a flower, which I thought my niece would really like, and then her monogram initial on the other. On the rectangular pendants, because there were two of them, we have four surfaces to work with. So on two of the surfaces, on one of them I put her name in a pretty script font, and then on the other one I selected a word, the word happened to be kind, and placed that in a different font. I used the handles to resize and rotate the words so that they fit where I wanted them to on the pendant. I must say this was a little finicky and hard to do on the small surface of my phone. If I had my laptop and mouse, it would make the manipulation of these a lot simpler. However, we did get it all in place and set it to process. And in no time, our surfaces were engraved. So next I flipped these over so that we could do the same thing all over again on the flip side, just noting where the hole is for the pendant to hang. You can see on the other side, I did the N for her monogram. Awesome and pretty. And look how beautiful this came out. So detailed and intricate. I ended up making seven of these necklaces for the holidays for my nieces and one for my sister. So the last step here was to reassemble the pendants back onto the jump rings and then loop that onto the chain. I was so happy with how these stainless steel engraved necklaces turned out and my nieces absolutely love them. They thought it was so neat that each of them was customized and personalized to them, something that they'll have and enjoy for a long, long time. 
We hope you enjoyed this video over at sustainmycrafthabit.com. I have the full list of all the fonts I used, as well as some descriptors that you could use to engrave your own stainless steel necklaces as gifts or to make and sell. Be sure to like and subscribe for more X-Tool crafts. Happy crafting!